welcome back to our podcast. Mm -hmm. So, um, I'll, I'll, I'll be honest here. I already recorded episode 63 and it's been out for a week. Um, so, well, technically today is, um, May 15th. Okay. That's that. No, today is technically, um, wait, 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 wait. 61, 62, 63. Today's May 12th, not 15th, 12th. Today's the May, today's May 12th, okay? And it is week four of our streaking of podcasting, and next week uh, is May 15th, May 19th, and then we'll, um, we'll, we'll try to get another podcast, and we'll see how long we can get this work. So, there's, uh, that's what's happening. So, I want to see what we think about bus routes, and... Mm. Um, if you've been a veteran of the, of the podcast, we did this, um, well, I did this. I, I, um, uh, I got bored when I was finished, when I was finished with my remote classes. And then I did, and then for about 95 minutes or something like that, maybe not 95, but probably like, I, I'm exaggerating, maybe like 65 or 70 for 70 minutes straight. Well, not straight. Cause technically there was a part one and a part two and I was busy. So anyways, I, re I, ranked all the Brooklyn bus routes, and today we're going to do Manhattan, because um, people know Manhattan. So, um, so here we go, I'm gonna, um, I'm going to share my screen. Where is this world? Okay, here it is. I want to make sure that sound gets off, of course. Okay. So I'm gonna share my screen. You can see the, um, wow, it's kind of actually lagging. That's kind of crazy. Um, <clears throat> hold on, let me try again. Uh, <clears throat> window, that, does that work? Hold on, let's see if it's better. Okay. Okay, maybe it's a lot, but it's better, but. <clears throat> it's, it's better, it's not as laggy. Okay. <clears throat> I just want you to see the route map. But that's what we're doing today. <laughs> Whoops, wrong one. Yeah, okay. Here we go. <coughs> I'm so sick. I don't know why. Um, Not sick, but throat hurts. So, we're going to start with M1. Um, We're going to look at the routing of the map, and we're going to look at ridership numbers. Well, it's technically like 7 in, in the evening, so that depends. So, what do you think of this route? It no, it's basically a loop. Well, not really, because it stretches. Um, yeah. It's not a loop, but it, it stretches from East Har East Village and Harlem. So I mean... It's, it's a pretty long route, because it stretches from here uh, down in Grand Street in the Chinatown section. Um, but I'll technically consider this as, you know, like, negative... Negative... How about negative 4th Street? Negative 4th Street, okay? In your language. Negative 4th Street. And then we go all the way up to 148th Street in Upper Manhattan, right here. So what do we think? What are we giving this? 1 out of 1 to 10. What do we think? Let's look at some ridership numbers. Like, maybe we'll look in the Midtown area. Yeah. The Midtown area, we have... Oh, that tracker's broken. 8 people on board. 15, I mean, it's 7. 15... Four people on board. We have seven people on board. What do you think? Eight. Uh, I'm not gonna count this estimated one because this could be anything. So, um, one out of ten, one to ten. What do you think? I'm gonna give this a nine. Uh, eight. Okay. No explanation needed because you don't know this place. But okay. All right. Let's look at the um. Let's look at M2. So it stretches from Washington Heights all the way down to East Village. So Eighth Street. All the way down to Washington Heights at 168th Street. That's long. Mm -hmm. See, the thing about these Manhattan bus schedules is they give they give the operators so much time. They could be like three minutes ahead of schedule sometimes. It it, it like sometimes it's so it's not needed that much time. But what do you think? Let's look at the ridership numbers. Eight people on board. Uh, tracker not enabled or not put in. One passenger. 15. Let's look in the Midtown area. That's, that's Eight. a big bus. 18. 18. 18 and unknown. So what do you think? I'll give it a 9 as well. This is also... Uh, <clears throat> an 8. 
a nine, I okay, guess, yeah, too. Th- uh, this is also part of the Madison Avenue and Fifth Avenue quarter uh, bus street. M3. So this is down from East Village, 8th Street, all the way down, all the way up to Inwood, Fort George, 193rd Street. So this is a pretty long route. And around this time, like around 7, like this is a Sunday night, so they'll uh, short turn the buses down to from down to 125th Street because this is where Manhattanville Bus Depot is, and that's where they, uh, that's where they'll, uh, you shouldn't know that. Anyways, um, by the time it's midnight, there is no service on Madison and 5th because that could be like provided by the M2, and they don't need like duplicate service that much, so, um, if you're in the in the Fifth Avenue and Madison Avenue quarters, you can use the M2, but the M3 will operate down a little ways here. So what do we think? Um, this is a pretty. I route. mean, average looks as about like ten people. What do you think? Yeah. This is a um. Good I'll give it nine. I'll well. give it also a nine again. Good. Okay. M4. Oh, whoops. M4 is also part of this uh, quarter as well, so it goes from um. Uh, Midtown, 32nd Street, all the way up, as well as down the Madison Avenue uh, corridor and 5th Avenue corridor, and to the Cloisters Museum. Um, but when the museum is not open, which is right now, it um, it terminates at Cabrini, right here. So the museum is not open right now. It's it's literally night. Everyone's going back home. So, um, and as well... Um, this is also part of the Madison Avenue and 5th Avenue corridor, so around, like, 8 p.m. tonight, they'll, like, stop running down to Midtown, and they'll end at 125th Street, 135th, to the Manhattanville Bus Depot. So what do you think of this route? This is a pretty good route. Yeah. So it runs on... Uh, okay, you can keep talking. Sorry. A, a 9.3. 9.5, I'll give it that. This one has 46 op- uh, people. And oh, forty six is not that huge because I can because I've seen that before every day I get home. And it's literally. Exciting. I mean, yeah, true. M five. That... Okay. So this is so yeah. many, most of the routes are uptown downtown, but uh, for the first few is also uptown downtown. So we start at Midtown Thirty First Street and Sixth Avenue, and then we run on the west side. This is Riverside Drive, and then. Also Broadway and terminate at the Washington Heights George Washington Bridge bus terminal. And during the day, the weekdays, there's limited service. So there are some stops along the route that are not served by the M5, and you have to walk to a different one. Just as the M2 as well. M2 is seven days a week, though. What do you think of this route? Um, I'd give it a nine. I'd give it a ten. That's not that bad. There's also that, and then uh, Columbus Circle as well, 72nd Street Station. Anyways, let's move on to M7. So we have Midtown 40, 14th Street and 6th Avenue, all the way up to the same terminal of the M1. But this is mostly on the west side. So this is 9th and 10th Avenues, but... Ninth is called Columbus, and tenth is called Amsterdam. So west, so north of Fifty Ninth Street, like these weird uh, ninth, tenth, and eleventh have weird names. Um, they're not like ninth is not called Ninth Avenue; it's called Columbus. Tenth is called Amsterdam, and eleventh is called West End. It's kind of weird. I don't know why they do that, but for some reason, the east side doesn't. Our do that. our streets here in San Francisco. Also have it, but it's streets, not avenues. Okay. Anyways, what do you think of this route? So we have a lot of p- occupancy as well. We have um fifteen, um, but mainly people are going uptown. I guess I assume this one has twenty nine. So this one, uh, estimate should have the same amount, most likely two, and then eleven, seventeen, five, uh, near the midtown area, so seven. What do you think? I'll give it an eight. Mm, I'll give it an eight point five. Okay. Now we're gonna talk about our first crosstown route. So M eight. 
what do you what what, what do you think it runs on? If it's Crosstown. Um, I don't know. All right. So where... M8 would run on 8th and 9th Street. So it runs from the west side to the east side, but the, on 8th and 9th Street. So 8th and 9th Street are runways, so they'll uh, go here. And then it goes to Alphabet City, which is is a B, Avenue A, Avenue B, Avenue C, and Avenue D. Oh. So Alphabet City right here. You played M8 before. Yeah. Yeah, but you mainly stayed in this section with the U-turn. You never, I don't think you went to this side, but. What do you think of this route? I liked it. Um, what is a nine. going on right here? So, okay, so NYC, okay. A nine, nine point two. I'll give two. it a nine, two. All right, so we're going to talk about our next route. So this one's a pretty short one, but it is a good one, but. This one is um, mainly in the lower Manhattan and a little bit in the downtown area. So we start off near the, um, the here's Battery Park City where we have the World Trade Center and then we have that, all that. And then it loops around City Hall. And we have Park Row here. I've been here, I think I went here like last week. This is where um, Park Row is restricted to the NYPD and MTA bus only. And then it circles around the East Village, Alphabet City, and then it ends near the east side of downtown Manhattan. What do you think of this route? Um, the I'll give it a nine. Okay. We have some good ones right here. Eight people, nine people. Many people use One route. person. Yeah, that one probably, that's, that's probably zero because that's not updated, but okay. M10, we're going to talk about another uptown downtown route. This one starts at the Columbus Circle. If I originally remember, um, this one went down to Times Square Penn Station. I don't remember. It, it goes, basically goes on the same avenue. Yeah, this one goes on Central Park West and 8th Avenue. And then it ends, 8th Avenue is called, um, what is this, Fred, Frederick Douglass? And then it ends at 155th Street. What do you think? This one's pretty straight. Do people rely on it? I don't know. Um, but this will be another alternative for uh, people who um, take, the, take the subway. I don't know. Um, I'd give it a 9.5. Same. Let's look at 11. 11 is also an uptown downtown route. So it starts in the Greenwich Village. So a Bingdon Square area. It's longer than the M10. This one, um, this one, this is a, this is a school tripper. This is not the actual start of the route, by the way. This is the start of the route. That one's a school tripper, just so you know. And then it goes on 10th and 11th Avenue, so Columbus and Amsterdam, and then ends at Riverbank State Park. But during late night hours, when Riverbank State Park is not open, it terminates here. <laughs> I think the state park's open until like midnight, so buses are still going there. Actually, no, until like 9 p.m. 9 p.m. would be the first one right here, or 10, I don't remember. But Riverbank State Park is right there, and then that's where it ends. This is a pretty long route, but what do you think? I'll go um, nine. I'd give it a, a 9.4. Okay, weird numbers, but okay. M12. A lot of people know. A lot of transit vanners know this route because this is um this is the route that um a bus driver who uses Instagram is very famous off of Instagram um off of it. So many people know about this one. This is the M12, which runs between Uppington Square and Columbus Circle. This one's a pretty short one. I wrote this one before. What do you think about this route? Not many people use it though. Just so, not many people use it. Not many buses, but I. It's not really reliable because not many people are using the west side. I I would give it a, a 7.5 or maybe an 8. Okay. Around like there. All right. Okay. M14A. Now, the reason it's called the M14A is because it runs on Avenue A. I figured that out like last month. I just realized that. Avenue A right here. Alphabet City, Avenue A. So, this would run between a Bingdon Square and uh, the Lower East Side. Now that we're also here, let's also talk about the L92 route, which is the L shuttle bus. So, 
Whenever the L does not run into Manhattan or just terminate at Union Square just like last week, it would, uh, there was this free shuttle bus, L92, uh, that runs here. So, L92 and M14A, we'll consider these as the same route. So, what do you think? It's, it's, the it's exact, an SCS route. It's the ex exact same routing, but they're, yeah. That's a lot of people. Mm -hmm, 48. I mean, they use Arctic buses, don't they? Yeah, yeah, this route is an Arctic articulated route yeah it makes the first, sense uh um, first one we're looking at this mm -hmm. so I think uh, this, is a, this is a 10 i think i like this one this one's pretty good i oh. yeah me too a 10 i'll give it for the m14d as well avenue d so it's a little bit different so it runs uh, a little bit up here and then it runs on avenue d i get the uh 10 also okay let's look at the m 15, but we're going to look at the local one first. Well, technically they're both the same, but uh, the M15 SBS reduces a lot of stop. If we look at the stop list here, so we have 125th Street up to that. First Street, 14, 25th. This is a really huge gap. As you can yeah, see, that we only is. have a few stops, and then we made it to 126. Compared to the one to the M15, which makes like a stop like every that, two. That... So, is a huge gap. They have the same the routing, SBS. except they have the same routing, except some buses might terminate here at Pike Street and Division Street, uh, which is going to end nearly soon. Uh, but the M15 SBS would terminate here at South Ferry, while the local buses would terminate here. So, what do you think of this route? This is a pretty good route. A lot of people depend on it, um, but. People would not use this route anymore once the 2nd Avenue subway is finished, I believe, because it's going to be a lot faster. But, like, why build the 2nd Avenue subway when we already have the M15 SPS, so... A 9.5. Okay. SPS as well, or new, different? Both. Okay. So, let's look at the, um, the M20. So, it starts at south ferry so the same place that it, it was with the m15 and it goes to battery park city a little loop around that battery park city area and then it goes on 7th and 8th avenues near the midtown area and then ends at lincoln center <laughs> this is a pretty good route not bad but um this um, is a good one, this is a good one. But, thing is, these uh, bus routes are, like, not really necessary in Manhattan anymore, because, like, the subway. Because we have, as you know, we have 8th Avenue here, we have the A and C line, A, C, and E lines. And then we have the 1, 2, and 3 here, so. Not really needed, but a good mm, alternative. What do you think? A 7. Okay. A 7. Alright. Okay, so I feel like this is going to take like five years. So, overall, do you think Manhattan's bus routes are reliable? Or, or do you think they're good? Like, let's take a look at the M21. They're Houston, okay. Houston Crosstown. That, another one. That's not considered a crosstown because it's not, because it's like under Manhattan streets. But M23, M31. M34, M34A, and that was actually originally called the M16 before it converted to uh, but Then we have M35 here. This one is starts in Harlem, and then it goes down to this, Randall Island. Yeah, this one right here. Um, this is actually a combined route, so it uses. Actually, I don't know about that. I don't know if they actually convert that anymore, but uh, sometimes they use Artex and sometimes they use Standard, so it's a combination. But That's we have right cool. there M42 Crosstown, M50 Crosstown, M57 Crosstown, M66. Seven, uh, 66 actually got uh, went from Quill to Manhattanville, but uh, its neighboring friend, the 72, for some reason also didn't go to Manhattanville. That's kind of weird, but um, 75, 72 to 75, 91 went to Manhattanville from Quill. So there you have right there. M79, SBS. So mainly the rest are just cross town, just so you know. 
So Crosstown would be the same. 86. And then we have the 96. The 106. The 106 is, I think it's over now. Yeah, it ended. So the 106 probably ended an hour ago. There's no more service now. 116. And the most, and the newly added 125. Have right there. Go Very through good. 120 this street. Yeah. I think they changed, actually, I think they changed the routing on this, on this map. Yeah, they changed the routing a little bit here. Because when I first opened, can I, when I first saw this, this was not like this. I don't remember it being like that. <clears throat> they changed, they had to change it. But for some reason, it's called 100 via 125th Street instead of saying Crosstown. Now, let's look at the nine, now let's look at a few uptown, downtown. So we have 98. This goes on the Harlem River Drive. Right here. Yeah, right Ooh. there. So, and this is only, as you can see, no scheduled service. This is only on during rush hours. So, uh, but it's a pretty good route. It it get it makes it's really quick. I think usually, but uh, depends on the traffic of the Harlem River Drive because if it's really bad, then that changes. The M100 was also fixed in the Bronx bus redesign. Uh, M100 comes out of Kingsbridge, which is technically Bronx Division, so that's why they, it got changed. So, M100, really nice route here uh, uh, through Broadway and Amsterdam. But it's also, pretty long. Yeah, I drove. Um, I drove it before. Well, in the game, but I drove it before. It took about half an hour, but I think the scheduled trip is supposed to take an hour. So, it got cut short. For the Bronx bus redesign. So now it terminates here. But it was supposed to go through 125th. And, and here on the east side of 125th. Second now? Yeah. Uh, but uh, they were trying to reduce the amount of service on 125th. So they reduced that uh, congestion. Congestion reasons. Because they already have like the 100, the M101 we're, we're going to visit next. M60. I forgot about the M60 by the way. This goes into Queens to the LaGuardia Airport. This is a pretty reliable route. This also has bike racks. And it also went to the uh, Mother Clara Hale Depot. I wonder why no, like, barely any MTA buses have bike racks. No, I, I, sorry, not bike racks. Um, um, the luggage racks. The luggage racks in the interior. Oh. Yeah, we're, um, we're slowly piloting bike racks, actually. So, we originally had four bus routes with bike racks, so the S53, S93, Q50, Limited, yeah. and the BX23. So Q, uh, the BX23 doesn't go through a bridge, but it's it shares the same depot as the Q50, so the Eastchester, that's why they had that. So I, I've only seen buses with bike racks uh, um, on the Staten Island routes. Yeah, the S53 and S93, though, that goes through the Verrazano, which is restricted to only cars and trucks, like vehicles only you can't walk through it or and you can't take a bike from it so that's why they have that bike rack but for some reason the s79 doesn't have that but there we're, we're slowly expanding um a few q44 units which goes through the whitestone bridge right here as the q50 um also got some bike racks but short story this one has m60 has luggage racks so there you have it right there and that then, that makes sense. That makes sense. Not all airport buses have luggage racks because, like, they're not dedicated. But what bus does um what buses do they use on the M sixty? Um, LFSA is uh the twenty sixteen and well twenty eighteen. Oh, either one of those. Yeah, I don't remember. Uh, but anyways, there you have right there, airport bus. And what else am I missing? M100. 101. 101, yeah. This is a pretty long one. This goes from uh, the East Village, 3rd, 6th Avenue, 6th Street. So this is kind of like the same thing as the M3, but this serves like the 3rd Avenue and Lexington Avenues. So it goes all the way to Fort George, the same place. This one goes through Amsterdam, and then um, M3 went through um, St. Nicholas Avenue. So it's kind of parallel, but they're right there. M one hundred two also serves the um, the same corridor, same terminal as M M one and M seven, Lenox Avenue as well, and then they're right there. So 
This one that goes. I feel like most. I feel like some of the bus routes are just duplicates. Almost like the same of another yeah. bus route. Yeah, this one's the M103. It goes through the same. Uh, so Third Avenue and Lexington Avenues. But instead of terminating as at Sixth Street as well as the M101 and 102, it goes downtown to City Hall and as well Park Row as so that restricted NYPD road. That's a pretty good one. But it terminates at 125th Street, so it doesn't go all the way up to, uh, uptown, but it does go to Har Harlem. Let's look at the 104. This is the final route we'll look at. Um, this one goes through Broadway, so it's parallel to the it's the exact same routing as the one line. But instead, the only difference is it takes about an hour. I just calculated that if you take it from here and then you go down to Times Square, it takes about an hour because of the uh, congestion here and then that. And that's the last route that we have that we're going to look at. And that's it. That's cool. Thank you so much for listening or watching wherever you are. And um, yeah, that's it. See you next time.